Bluegill flash. How cool is that? It's a cold water fish, but he's a better one. I'm just running two rods. I was running three early and I couldn't keep up with it. It was crazy. Oh, coming on again. Holy crap. Put it in neutral, Brian. She's ripping it. She's ripping it. Oh, man. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Woo. TFOC run series doing her job. This rod is such a fun trout rod. Look at her go. Look at her go. Seven nine. Seven foot nine inch rod. She loves kitchen trout. Alrighty. I think we'll just shut her down today and enjoy this one. This will be the last one of the day. I've caught a bunch of rats and uh Two nice ones. This feels like it's going to be another nice one. Just phenomenal, though. In 44 degree water. Come on, you little devil. I got a feeling you might not be so little. You might not be so little. Up. Let's get a look at you. Let's get a look at you, killer. Where you at? Where you at? Oh my! It's a lake trout. Lake trout. Nice. Nice run, Mr. Laker. What do you think, buddy? Haha, <laughs> big old lake trout. How cool was that? Put him back. Oh. Yeah, buddy. 
good. You ready to go, fella? Get on out of here. Get on out of there. There you go. See you, bud. Bump up the uh, my drum on the big fish. Uh. <laughs> Holy crap! These guys are so much fun, baby. These guys are the blast. I think a size is damn thing. Cut this goomer on eight pound test line. TFO three power rod. Oh jeez! I think your power is going to be so big. What a uh, what a great fish then. Holy crap, that's a big one. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love these guys. They pull so hard and fight so good. And the TFO uh, Professional Series 3 power rod doing the job. Well, I think I've caught the uh, money fish as far as pickerel. I was in second place yesterday. I don't know if I got bumped down or not because I didn't stay for the final weigh-in. And then today the scales are open from noon till 4 p.m. It's about 1.30 right now. So I'm hoping the pickerel I caught today will at least keep me on the board and in the money. I mean, who knows, maybe it's big enough to actually uh, win this damn thing. But uh, I'll pull out a live boat, we'll take a look at it, take a couple of stills. I'm gonna go to the weigh-in and see what I got. Alrighty, wish me luck, who knows. But hit that thing on the uh, three inch swing impact, Kitech three inch swing impact, Tennessee shad on an eighth ounce Bass Pro Shop head. And I was using uh, TFO's uh, 763 rod with 8 pound uh, Master Braid by Quartman and a tippet of their 15.9 uh, pound fluorocarbon liquor. So that worked out pretty well for me. Chunk of the country mile, 5.1 to 1 reel, and just let that little baby boot tail go to work down there and fish between 14 and 16 foot of water. So, Hopefully I got it done, but we'll see. And if not, I had a great time, caught a lot of fish, and I'll do uh, do a wrap up later on. Ah, if I get home. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Kind of a little chunky, fat, beat up dude. But he went uh, four seven six on mine, my scale, and the, the fish that was leaving the derby weighed four point four five yesterday. So maybe I'll get it on the board, maybe not. Take a couple stills and let's go weigh this bad boy in. So easy to get carried away, not wait. And you get rewarded with a good fish. So that's the key to fishing these uh, finesse swim baits for perch. Is I said it a lot, but I, you know, I can't emphasize it enough. Scale your tackle to meet the fish you're fishing for, and uh, wait until you feel the tap. But wait until you feel the weight of the fish to set the hook. Because remember, your uh, your lure is going this way. The fish bites it. He's going that way. But you got to let him suck it in, 
And once you feel that pressure set the hook in there, you got him. So you get a mess of those 15, 20, 25 of those bad boys. That's nice little plays, and that is some great, great growth right here in Henderson Harbor in front of the Henderson Harbor boat ramp. I'm in nine foot of water. What a great way to introduce a kid to fishing with artificial baits. Especially these little, little mitty bitty uh, finesse swim baits. It's, uh, it's such fun. It's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. You gotta try it, man. Drop shot. This is the uh, 703 drop shot rod. Professional series. Beautiful rod. Love this thing. Alright, we can see if we can get a couple stills of this bag. Head to the eight ounce head from the three and a half to the base, 2.8 inch base, from the 10 pound line down to 6 pound line, and then I slow down my retrieve from the 3 to 1 or 5 point inch base. And it's the first pitch to get this really important ball. It's in the box. And so I guess that uh, speaks volumes for being willing to make a change when you need to. Nice fish, good boy, size of beast. Oh, beast of a fish. That's a pretty good one. I don't want to tell you except the. Uh, what in the heck are you doing? Chewing on an inline spinner, old Mr. Whiskers. And of course, I ain't got a net. I've been saying it the whole day. <laughs> she is, man. Ah, too good. Too good. Come here. Come here. I think we'll channel cat. I got channel to me. Just a good gracious. Good ball, good ball. 
<laughs> Jeez. Lake Ontario. Come on, Henderson Bay, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I wish you would have brought a little dog on that. Cheap ass. I'm going to make this a whole lot easier. He's not a walker. If you come off, you come off. He's not a bad one, though. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Isn't that cool? Whew. Hey, that big old choke car hook. That choke car hook didn't mess around, man. There you go. Another one of them bumpers. Good lord. <laughs>